Hi, I'm Bauer, an analyst here at One Energy. Welcome to today's Science Short. Today is the next episode in our series on simple machines where we'll discuss the wheel and axle. The previous Science Short was Carly's amazing overview of simple machines, so be sure to go back and watch if you need a bit of a refresher. To summarize, a simple machine is an object that can change the direction, distance, speed, or amount of force on an, acting on an object. A wheel and axle has two parts, the wheel, which has the larger radius, and the axle, which has the smaller radius. If we spin the wheel, the axle spins too. By always spinning with one another, the wheel and axle create mechanical advantage. Remember, mechanical advantage is how much easier a simple machine makes the task. Bicycles are a very common example of machines that use the wheel and axle. We use the bicycle's pedals to spin the axle, which in turn spins the wheels. This allows us to move a larger distance while applying a force over a small distance. However, the trade-off is that we have to apply more force directly to the axle than we would the wheel. This works for bikes because we care more about the ability to move over a large distance. Look how far we can get with just one rotation of the pedals. However, there are some examples of a wheel and axle where the opposite is true. In those cases, we want to spread the force out over a larger distance to make the task as easy as possible. So we apply force directly to the wheel, which in turn spins the axle. A car's steering wheel is like this. We turn the large part of the wheel that we can see, and the motion turns a small shaft inside the car. It's amazing how simple machines can help. To calculate how much they help us, we need the radius of both parts. Then we can divide the radius of the wheel by the radius of the axle. This provides a value for the mechanical advantage, and a larger number means that we can use less force to rotate the axle. This value for mechanical advantage allows us to compare different machines. When the mechanical advantage of one wheel and axle is larger than that of another, we know that the first allows us to use less force. This can be helpful in determining what the best solution is for our problem. A bicycle is just one example of a simple machine. These simple machines are everywhere in our lives. Do you remember the wheelbarrow that we mentioned in the previous science short? It uses a wheel and axle to easily move along the ground. Our caper reels act as a wheel and axle. If we spin the larger outside, it rotates the reel easily. Our turbines act as wheel and axles too. The wheel, formed by the blades, spins the much smaller hub and generator, which make up the axle. From the smallest fan to the biggest wind turbine, the wheel and axle creates mechanical advantages for one energy and for you. Try to keep an eye out for other wheel and axle examples. And here's a hint at our next Simple Machine Science Short. We're sure it'll pull you in with its utility. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, challenge everything.